Hello and welcome to another video on how to use Mobilock Pro to manage your Android and iOS devices. In this video, we will focus on how to enable two-factor authentication to log in to your dashboard. Two-factor authentication adds that extra layer of security where if, even if your credentials are stolen or bypassed or compromised for your Mobilock account, you can still enforce a second layer of authentication. Also, you kind of make sure that every time the correct user is logging in. Now, to do that, you first need to log in to the Mobilock Pro dashboard. To enable two-factor authentication, click on the logo here. Go to Admins and Roles. Click on Sign in Settings. At this point, you can enable two-step verification. Go ahead and select that. As you would see, you have two options. One is the email and one is Google Authenticator. Email is a simple mechanism where the person who is logging in after the password has been verified will be asked to enter an OTP or a one-time passcode that is sent to their email with which they have logged in. Only when they enter the OTP, they are allowed to sign in to the dashboard. Google Authenticator is an enhanced mechanism where you would be scanning a QR code using the Google Authenticator application and use the code that are dynamically generated by Google Authenticator every time you try to log into the dashboard. Let's try the email mechanism in this video. I'll go ahead and save it. It'll ask you for the password, so as to confirm. Once you confirm, the two-step verification has been enabled. Note that this has been enabled for you and it has been enabled for all the co-account owners and the administrators of your dashboard. Also, none of the users who are presently logged into the dashboard will be logged out. The two-factor authentication comes to the picture the second time or the next time that they log into the dashboard. Let me go ahead and log out from the dashboard so as to demonst demonstrate that to you. As you see, it has asked me for the OTP passcode that has been sent to my email. I'll go ahead and enter the OTP passcode that has been sent. Please note that sometimes the passcode, the OTP passcode might end up in the spam folder. So please make sure that you check the spam folders as well. As you could see, I required an OTP to log into my dashboard. Now. As once it is enabled, then you might choose to disable it in future, but only you, the account owner or the co-account owner can disable it. Let's log in with an administrator and see how it applies to an administrator. And log in as an administrator. As you could see, it has asked me to enter an OTP code. I'm waiting for my OTP code here. Seems that I have entered the wrong passcode. As you could see, only if after verifying the OTP, I am allowed to sign in. Now, you can also see that the admin cannot do any administrative actions or disable the two-factor authentication. Hopefully, this video helped you on how to enable two-factor authentication using email mechanism. In the next video, we will see how to use Google Authenticator. Thank you.